Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be my 2023 introductory guide to brokerage accounts for beginners. This is the second installment in my series of 2023 guides that I'm releasing to provide you with clear, concise and reliable information that will set you up for investing success in the decades to come. In this second guide, we're going to talk about what brokerage accounts are, why they're needed and how safe they are, and we'll also talk about the best brokerage accounts for beginners, how you go about setting one up and how you use them to invest your money. Once again, just a bit of background on myself and why you should listen to me. My name is Dan Malone. I spent four years working with PricewaterhouseCoopers who are one of the biggest financial services firms in the world. Specifically, I worked in the asset and wealth management division. Now, what that means is that my day-to-day -day job centered around investments and auditing some of the largest investment managers in the world. I am professionally qualified as a financial advisor, chartered accountant and chartered tax advisor here in Ireland and I also have two business degrees from University College Dublin, one being a Bachelor of Commerce and the other being a Masters in Accountancy. For the past two years I've spent most of my time creating educational finance content in the hope of making a difference in people's lives by improving their relationship with money. So if you do enjoy this guide and want to see more straight talking finance content in the future. I would highly encourage you to subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, what is a brokerage account? A brokerage account is simply a tool that is used to buy investment assets. The type of brokerage account that we're going to be talking about, which is the online brokerage account, is mainly used for the purposes of buying stocks on the stock market. So you, the investor, open an online brokerage account with a brokerage company. You then transfer money from your bank account to your brokerage account and once your money has been transferred, you can then use it to buy stocks on the stock market. Whatever stocks you own are held within your brokerage account and they will stay there until you sell them or transfer them to another brokerage account. Pretty simple concept, but there's obviously a lot happening under the hood. Now, in our last guide, we talked about what company stocks are, why they're valuable and how you profit from owning them. But we didn't talk about what the stock market is and you need to understand what the stock market is in order to fully understand and why brokerage accounts are needed. The stock market is exactly what its name suggests. It's a market where company stocks can be bought and sold. Imagine you go to a Christmas market to buy ornaments, clothes, or Christmas cards. Each stall at the Christmas market will sell something different, and the market itself as a whole is made up of all of these different individual stalls. The concept is the exact same for the stock market, except instead of Christmas goods, you're going to the stock market to buy shares in companies from all around the world. Instead of stalls, you have stock exchanges and each exchange will have different stocks available for you to choose from. The stock market as a whole is made up of all the different individual stock exchanges. Now, unlike the Christmas stalls, which sell you goods directly, stock exchanges are there to simply facilitate trading between buyers and sellers of specific company stocks. Imagine you walked up to a stall at the Christmas market and you wanted to buy an ornament that the stall facilitated trading in. It doesn't sell the ornament to you directly, but instead it matches you with an individual who is looking to sell that particular ornament. That's the reason why stock exchanges exist, to match buyers and sellers with one another. However, the stock market isn't a physical place. We can't show up at this market and physically walk up to each of the stock exchanges that are matching buyers and sellers. So how do we access this market and the exchanges within it? Online brokerage accounts and that's why they're needed. At a very simple level, when you buy stocks using a brokerage account, what's actually happening is that your broker is electronically sending your order to the relevant stock exchange. Your order is then matched by the exchange with a seller of that particular stock and the shares are purchased and delivered to your brokerage account. Now before we talk about what brokerage accounts to use, how to set one up and how to use them, I first want to answer the question, how safe are brokerage accounts? And by 
safety, I mean, how safe your cash and investments are in the hands of a brokerage company. Are they as safe as cash in a bank account or is there more of a risk that you could end up losing money? And let me be clear, I'm specifically talking about the risk of losing money in the event of the broker's collapse. I'm not talking about the financial risks associated with investing itself. The reason why I want to answer this question is because the collapse of FTX in the world of crypto has resulted in many people questioning just how safe third-party investment apps really are. The long and short of it is that the world of stocks and the stock market is astronomically more safe and secure than the world of cryptocurrencies. But let me talk a bit about why that is. If you live in the European Union, your cash and investments are protected under EU law in the event of your broker's collapse. Any cash that you have deposited onto a brokerage platform is protected up to the value of 100,000 euro. That's because brokers will partner with banks to store your deposits until they are invested or withdrawn. Bank deposits in the EU are protected in the event of a bank's collapse up to the value of 100 grand. Therefore, this protection is also extended to your brokerage account deposits. Your investments themselves, i.e. the stocks that you own, are protected up to the value of 20,000 euro. Now, even though 20,000 euro doesn't seem like a lot, it's important to be aware that brokers put mechanisms in place to try and ensure that 100% of your investments will be protected in the unlikely event of their collapse. In other words, they try to avoid a scenario where you have to claim the 20,000 euro EU protection. They can't guarantee 100% protection for everyone, but most brokers do a very good job at making it a safe process for investors. If you want to learn more about the specific protective mechanisms that brokers use, you can check out the video popping up on screen now. But yes, brokerage accounts are safe. So with that being said, what online brokerage account should you use? There are many, many options available for European investors. Most brokerage accounts do the same thing and there isn't really a massive difference between most of the options available. Some online brokerage accounts will be mobile only, others will be web only and some will offer both. The most important factors to consider when choosing a broker are A, the fees, B, safety and C, investment selection. I don't really value super fancy user interfaces or high tech features when it comes to brokerage accounts. That's because if you're investing correctly, you'll be spending virtually no time actively using the platform and you'll understand why that is in my next guide. So if you're going to spend no time using the platform, what's the point in really fancy features? I'd much rather pay the lowest fees, have the highest level of safety and have the best selection of investments. Straight up, I use DeGiro for all of my investing activity and I've done so for many years now. If you chose to use DeGiro as your broker, you would be making a good decision. They offer super low cost investing, a very high standard of safety for your cash and investments, and they have a fantastic selection of investment assets available. This video isn't sponsored by DeGiro, but I am partnered with them because I use their product and I think they're a fantastic company. So if you do want to try DeGiro out and support me as a creator, you can sign up for free using the first link in the description of this video. But with that being said, there are other options available like Book Zero, Trade Republic, and Trading 212. So if you want to try out a a few of these platforms to find your favorite. Again, you can do so for free using the links in the description. I am partner with all of these companies and they're all very good. It's just I personally use DeGiro as my broker of choice and therefore that's the one I would recommend using. But try out a few for yourself and see what one you like best. As for the brokerage account setup process, it's very straightforward. You'll typically be asked to verify your identity by providing a copy of your passport or your driver's license. Then you'll be asked for some basic information about your residency, which is needed for tax purposes. Once that's done, you'll be given access to your account, but you won't be able to use your account until you verify the bank account from which you'll be transferring money to your brokerage account. This is typically done by sending a nominal sum of money like one euro from your bank account to your brokerage account. And once the money is transferred, you'll be able to access stocks on the stock market. So now that you're set up with your brokerage account, it's time to use it. But how does one use a brokerage account. Now, obviously this is going to depend on what broker you go for, but the principles are largely the same across all platforms. I'll be using DeGiro for the purposes of any illustrative examples that I use. So the main thing you need to know is how you find the stocks you want to buy and how you buy them. The best way to find any company stock is to use its internet
International Securities Identification Number or ISIN. Every stock that is sold on the stock market has an ISIN and most brokers will allow you to search for stocks using the ISIN. How you find a stock's ISIN is by simply Googling it. If you Google Apple's ISIN, you'll find that it's US 0378331005. And if you search for that in the brokerage app, you'll be shown all of the exchanges that Apple stock is sold on. The reason why it's good to get into the habit of using ISINs is because it ensures that you're looking at the correct investment asset. This is more so important when it comes to buying investment funds that all have very similar names, but I'd still recommend doing it when searching for individual company stocks. When it comes to buying the stock, there are a couple of important things to note. I could go into big detail explaining every aspect of the DeGiro platform, but I don't want to overload you with information that isn't 100% necessary. If you do want a full breakdown of the DeGiro platform, check out the video popping up on screen now. The first important thing to note is the share price. This is how much one share in the company will cost you. DeGiro does not offer fractional share investing, meaning you need to have enough money in your account to purchase one whole share in whatever company you're looking at. The second important thing to note is that when you go to buy a share, you generally want to set the order type to market order. This just means that your shares will be bought at the current best available price. So you're not specifying what price you want to pay, you're just paying the best price that's currently available. Make sure that you have enough money in your account to cover the cost of the current share price multiplied by the number of shares that you're looking to buy. You don't want to be in a scenario where you're buying shares with borrowed money. And the final important thing to note is that you can see what shares you currently own and their value in the portfolio view. This will automatically update as you continue to buy and sell shares and as the value of those shares change over time. Any dividends that you receive from owning the shares will be paid into your brokerage account and you can then choose to either reinvest those dividends or withdraw them into your bank account. Again, if you want a more detailed explanation of DeGiro's platform, check out my full tutorial and review video. And I also have a tutorial and review video for Book Zero as well. So that's everything you really need to know about brokerage accounts, at least at a high level. In the next episode of this series, we're going to talk about the best investment to buy, which is exchange traded funds. We'll talk about what exchange traded funds are, how they operate, why they're the best investment you can make, how you can buy them, and much, much more. Don't miss it. So I hope you found this guide useful. If you did, you can show your support by leaving a like in the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions on anything that we covered in this guide, please do not hesitate to leave a comment down below and I will answer your question to the best of my ability. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.